good to see you one more time. So finally, it's volume of the ship, displacement. And considering all these factors, appropriate rates to fifty thousand dollars to five hundred thousand dollars, eight meters high and two meters thick. And over send the list of pre-arrival dock arrival Balboa Anchorage area, the Panama Canal Authority. The canal pilots are known for their knowledge and skill. Often called one of the greatest feats of human engineering, the Panama Canal is a 77 km long man-made stretch of water. It is created to make shipping and travel easier. Panama Canal has reduced the sailing distance from Atlantic to Pacific and vice versa by a huge 8000 nautical miles. If you sail from Atlantic to Pacific, say at a speed of 15 knots, it would take 22 long days to reach Pacific. On the contrary, it takes just 8 to 10 hours via Panama Canal. The ships transiting the Panama Canal have to undergo Panama Canal Universal Measurement System which considers various factors like loaded condition or ballast condition, the volume of the ship, displacement and considering all these factors, appropriate rates are applied and uh, costing approximately $250,000 to $500,000 for a single transit. There are a total of 5 locks in the Panama Canal. 3 old and 2 new. When entering from Atlantic to Pacific, the first lock is the Cartoon Locks. It is a 3 step flight which lifts the ship 85 feet above the sea level and opens to the Gatun Lake. After passing the Gatun Lake, the ship reaches Culebra Cut. Then comes the Pedro Miguel Locks. It is a single step flight which lowers the ship 31 feet from the sea level which opens to Miraflores Lake. To exit the Panama Canal into the Pacific Ocean, the final set of locks are the Miraflores locks. It is a two-step flight which lowers the ship 54 feet from the sea level. The purpose of the locks is to avoid the Gatun Lake from flowing outwards into the Atlantic or Pacific and to ensure there is sufficient draft available for the ships to pass the canal. Locks work on the basic principle of gravity and flotation causes the ship to rise and lower accordingly when the gates are open and according to the movement of water. Huge valves are used to control the flow of water which is monitored at the control center of the respective locks. The gates are almost 8 meters high and 2 meters thick. The canal transit is booked via the ship's agent who would send a list of pre-arrival documents for vessel's clearance upon arrival. Upon arrival Balboa Anchorage area, the Panama Canal Authority inspectors board the ship for pre-transit inspection. It is important all bridge equipment, steering gear, mooring winches and associated equipment, main engine and auxiliary machinery are working in good order. The canal pilots are known for their knowledge and skilled navigation, but still the old responsibility lies on the master and the ship's crew. Special care should be taken when the vessel is inside the locks, and when the lock gates open, the sudden gush of water creates a hydraulic effect which pushes the vessel astern, and full main engine power is required. Communication by the ship's crew with the bridge and vice versa is mandatory. Also with the mules or electric locomotives which act as brakes for the ships to keep it at the center of the lock. Mm -hmm.